I think it was for our inaugural season, a little bit up and down. We had stretches of good hockey, stretches of bad hockey, and I know that was transparent by our 500 mark. But it was nice to kind of get things rolling in Stockton, get the AHL in here, get the whole California division going. And uh, it was kind of an experiment, I think, a little bit of the scheduling, everything, how all that worked out. And I think going on to next year will be a little bit better. What about the scheduling? Did you, did you find it a little challenging at times? Yeah, I just thought that we'd had some – not even just us, but the whole California uh, division in general had a few games where you'd play just like one game in Ontario or one game here, one game there. You're driving five or six hours for one game, turn around and doing the same thing. When it's kind of like there's a few teams along the way that you can play, be, be playing from start to finish. You can go to San Diego, to Ontario, to Bakersfield and play three games and kind of minimize your time on the bus. So as a player, would you have wanted more of like those three and three situations or is it something that you, you really just prefer – to kind of hit them on like a maybe a, a longer day-wise road trip, but a, a shorter in terms of games played. Not so much a three and three, but even a three and four, like a Wednesday, Friday, Saturday kind of thing. And I think that I'm, I'm sure that a lot of the other teams are going to be saying the same thing. I don't. That I, got, I got asked earlier today, playing 76 last year and then playing the 68 this year, what was easier, kind of harder. And sometimes I think it. Sometimes the 76 is easier because. You don't have that much time on the bus. You play more game. You play more games, but you're not traveling as much. It's a little easier on the body in that sense, but you're still getting beat up from like from the games. Bryce, looking at uh, back, how important was the, the trip to Winnipeg? I mean, obviously, it seemed like that was an opportunity for you guys to to, to maybe get a jump and you know get some points out of those games and that whole trip in there. Was that kind of the the turning point? Um, I guess you could say that. Looking back on it, we're we weren't above a lot of people in the standings this year, and they're one of the teams that I guess we were expected to beat. But we could have said that about any game. We lost 30-some games, and if you won a couple more of those games, you'd be in the playoffs the same way, even if it wasn't for Winnipeg. So I think just the way we lost them, I think it's kind of a sore mark for everybody, and that's kind of what everybody remembers that f for that reason. For you personally, what sort of things did you think you improved upon this year? Biggest thing would be... Just my over, I, yeah, obviously, if we're going to say my overall game, but my skating and then playing with the puck, puck protect, puck pro, oh, sorry, puck protecting, I think that's a big part of the game. My game being bigger and physical down low, like once I can hold that puck and get to the puck and be able to create offensive opportunities and kind of be a pest in the other team side. You play the style of game that, that Calgary expects from a lot of their guys. Do you, is that a spot on that team that you expect to kind of push forward going into next season? Yeah, obviously, going into next season, your goal is to make the team. Um, and I think going into my third year, it's kind of do or die now. Like, I'm, I want to be there. I want to be playing for them. And I play hard all the time, so it's not, I guess, like I have to try hard to do that game. It's the way I play, the way I've played my whole life, and just kind of second nature now. It's just becoming better at the stuff that I'm not, I'm not good at and rounding my game out. What, what kinds of things have the coaches mentioned that they want you to do in terms of rounding your game out? Uh, they still want me to improve my skating, not my top end speed, but more my quickness. And I agree with that one. The faster you, you can skate, it makes the game easier, gives yourself more time, gets separation, time and space, and that's that's huge. Once you kind of get away from people, you can make plays with the puck. What about, uh, obviously, you, you, you were the recipient of our community service award, and you were also nominated for a league award. Um, we've talked about it a little bit over the course of the, the, the nomination process, but... Uh, how, how does it feel to finally be recognized, at least uh, amongst the community, as, as really uh, the guy who really uh, showed the most support in the community? Like I said before, it's a great honor to have that. You know, not every day are you getting awards for just doing things that going out in the community and putting smiles on people's faces and just kind of joining in on what they're doing and getting a sense of what the community's got going on. And I just like to reiterate that they always come support us. It's the least we can do is go and support them. In a new community like that, did you feel kind of the need to do some things like that for being in Stockton now? Um, I don't know if it's uh, do I feel a need. I just I like to do it. It's and I think as a pro athlete, you should people look up to you. It's part of the job. So the fact that once you get out there, they're going to do more for you if you're out there doing more for them. Do you have a memorable moment out in the community? You know, I know you went to all the events, but one of them, is there a certain one that was your favorite? Uh, definitely the, we, after the teddy bear toss, we went to the United Way, and they had all the teddy bears in the big room there, and the kids were there, and we were hiding in the teddy bears. It was like a big mountain. And then we had like a teddy bear fight. That was, pretty, that was pretty fun, and all the kids went crazy, and they were throwing teddies at everybody, and it's like, oh, man, they're coming from everywhere. And 
we, I think we left all sweaty. It's, it's, like, it's just, yeah, you're just a big kid again and having fun. Well, that's been, I guess, kind of, kind of your mantra, I guess, over the course of the season. I mean, you're, you're a guy that uh, I think maybe lightens the mood up a little bit in the room. Is that, is that helpful at times when you're going through some of the, the stretches where uh, games were, were coming a little bit difficult for the team? I think so. If you ask anybody that's played pro sports or pro hockey, it's a long year. There's lots of up and downs, and if you're riding those waves, eventually they're going to get bigger and steeper. But if you try to kind of stay in the middle and look at the best part of things, you'll be able to get, get through it. And You have to enjoy it. It's a process. It's, it's like any job. There's pros and cons, and the perks to it you have to really enjoy, and that's, that's what you play the game for. It's a game in the end. You have to have fun. And obviously, you're, you're a leader when it comes to community service, but did you feel like you, you started to take on a little bit more of a leadership role going into, uh, uh, going into the year? A little bit. I think a lot of that has to do with just being older. It's my second year with the guys, like some of the guys I've played with for, with for two years. And we had a younger team this year. We only had, a f I think, a handful of guys over 25. And it just kind of... The way, yeah, the way of putting that way, yeah, I'd, I'd say I've kind of stepped up to be a leader and some guys, someone that guys can come talk to, kind of be a, a voice for them, and if they want advice on certain things, I'm there for them. What about um, your, your contract situation? You're, you're a restricted free agent this year. Have you had any ta chances to talk with the, the Calgary Flames about uh, the potential future? Uh, not overly. Usually that all waits till after the season. Um, I'm sure it'll all work itself out. I'm not too worried about it. Is it some place that you'd, you'd want to be still in a part of the Calgary organization? Yeah, like they've treated me well. I've got no, no complaints and just want to make the next step and be in Calgary. It'd be nice to be back in the home province and be there playing for them.